What is up guys, Vicky Portsman coming in here and today I'm gonna be showing you guys another Nightbot tutorial. This has been asked a lot from you guys, so we're definitely gonna do one on the uh grief prevention for your streams I guess you could say your spam protection so what you guys are gonna want to do is go down to the spam tab and you're gonna want to click on the first box now what the first box is is blacklisted words so whatever words you don't want to have in the stream type in the box that comes up on the top uh, how many seconds you want to have someone banned for is uh, up to you I like to have it especially for blacklisted words probably like 300 400 seconds you're welcome to do whatever you want for that, but I like to do it around there. Make sure that permission is set to moderator because then you and moderators are the only ones that can actually like take away the ban from people. Maybe maybe Nightbot gets glitched and it bans someone who shouldn't have been banned, you can unban them that way. If you're a really big streamer, you can put it on silent so there's not a constant message coming up. And then on the bottom part is where you actually put your message like, you did a no-no, <laughs> like you shouldn't have spammed. That's where you type it on the box. It's just to notify the person they, they just got a, a kick or something or a ban or a mute. The next setting is excess caps. This is pretty self-explanatory. It's if people use too many caps. You're welcome to put however long you want to have the timeout for. That's honestly up to you. It's, it's totally uh, personal preference on, on, on your behalf. Also, the line below it is limiting how many caps you want to have, so if you don't want people to be spamming chat with caps, then make it low. If you don't care, put it high. It's up to you. Also, have permission on moderators only, because you don't want uh, someone just unbanning themselves. That's very important. Silent mode, again, if you are a big streamer, have a lot in chat, then go ahead and do that. And then you can have a personal message uh, telling the person they just got muted for uh, too many caps. That's the bottom part. Honestly guys, these get really self-explanatory, so just click on the next one, excess emotes, put however long you want to have the timeout for, make sure you have a certain number of emotes you want to have in chat, set that, set it to moderator only, silent if you want, and then put your sign out, like, or timeout message, um, for whatever you want to have, tell them that they got muted for putting too many emoticons in chat. The next step, which is a huge one, is links. You don't want people advertising all sorts of random crap in your chat. So make sure you guys put down um, in the top box things like Twitter.com and YouTube.com. You don't want to have any of that type of stuff. This basically prevents people from coming in and just spamming random websites or their own sites. It's like it stops promoting uh, other channels in your chat. So your stream is just for you and you only. Everything else is super self-explanatory, type of message, uncheck silent unless you're a big channel, put it on moderator, and then obviously timeout time, however long you want to ban someone for. The next one guys is excess symbols. You're welcome to have this however high you want. This is like exclamation points and stuff. If you don't want to have people spamming that, then make it low. If you really don't care, make it high. Also realize that people can put text art and stuff in your chat, which is kind of annoying. So if I were you, I'd put it lower. Put out the whatever, however long you want the timeout time to be. Uh, moderator use only obviously silent mode unless you're a huge streamer get a lot of people and then a personal message and then the last setting really doesn't matter uh, I don't like having it on because it kind of bans people from typing like if they type the word the like three times in one sentence they'll kick them I had it on one time and it was really annoying so I just turn it off now I really don't care about it um, if you want to turn it on and put in certain words like curse words and stuff you don't want people to repeat then sure go ahead to be honest, I think that the first setting that we went over kind of breaks the whole purpose of this setting. So um, you're welcome to do whatever you want. But yeah, guys, otherwise, I hope you did enjoy. I hope I did a pretty good job of just explaining some spam protections, things that Nightbot can do for your streams on Twitch or YouTube. That's all I got. This has been Vicky428. Please smack that like button if this did help you. Share it with your friends if you want to help them with their streams. And uh, subscribe if you're new. It doesn't cost anything to be kind. Peace out, guys. All that you want, all that I need, rising like the smoke, you linger on me.